So everybody's been wondering for the last few months, where's Jim Keller going to end up? Turns out he's found an AI company. What's your minimum specification? So you remember Jim Keller, right? He's just spent two years as Intel's VP of Silicon Engineering. He's had two stints at AMD where he's developed Skybridge K12 and helped with Zen. He's done K7, K8. He spent time with uh, Apple doing A4, A5. He spent time with Tesla designing their fully self-driving chip. Uh, time at PA Semi. He's done time with uh, MIPS Processing and Broadcom. It's basically a known feature, and wherever he goes, he seems to have the magic touch with some of the processes that he designs. Uh, still waiting to see what happens coming out of Intel, but who knows. So what has Jim Keller done? Well, he left Intel middle of last year um, due to family issues, and we kind of didn't know what was going on. Uh, he cropped up a month or two later at the uh, live event for Elon Musk's Neuralink press conference. Um, he, was in, he wasn't presenting, he was just in the audience. Uh, got a screenshot of him in the audience. Uh, Eagle Eye viewers saw him with Lex Fridman. But since then, we don't know where he's going to go. There's always been a lot of talk about, well, maybe he'll go back to AMD and do another, do another generation there. Maybe he'll go back to Apple. Maybe he'll go back to Tesla because he was at Elon Musk's event. Turns out Jim Keller's a big fan of this whole AI thing that's been going on. And he's ended up at an AI company called Tens Torrent. His official position will be President and CTO, Chief Technology Officer. And he's also got a seat on the board. Um, what is Tens Torrent? Tens Torrent is what we call a pure play AI chip semiconductor business. Uh, that means that all they do is AI. Um, they're actually relatively new. Uh, founded in 2016, 2017, they have about 70 employees across Toronto uh, and uh, Austin, Texas, and some in Silicon Valley as well. And the whole thing about these AI chip companies, because there's about 50 of them, especially these sort of, you know, three to four year old chip companies, is that they're all trying to cash in on this whole AI machine learning business that's taken off and there's a lot of money to be had and there's also a lot of investment to be had as well. Uh, these AI chip companies they tend to be split into two variants you have inference and training. Uh, inference is where you take a pre-trained algorithm to go through and do uh, the machine do the uh, what the algorithm tells it to. So an example like this of, might be on your smartphone uh, with image recognition where it uh, detects cats and dogs and what have you. Uh, training is more you feed all the billions of pictures of cats and dogs into the algorithm and it sorts itself out. AI uh, on inference chips is relatively easy. AI on training chips is more difficult because you have to build massive chips and offer lots of compute. Um, inference for AI scales from IoT, um, you know, like your smart meter, perhaps learning your habits, all the way up to big um, inference in the cloud, whereas training is purely done really in the cloud. Desktop PC if you're lucky. So what Terence Torrent is, is they're splitting between the two. Their current generation chip, which is the second generation chip, that was released in 2020, uh, currently with big customers there. And the 2021 chip is a training chip. It's also a network switch, has 16 ports of 100 gig Ethernet. It's a bit insane. Um, but their basic premise of their compute core is their custom 10.6 processor. What it does with machine learning algorithms, uh, especially uh, matrix operations, is it packages them and arranges them so they f uh, fit well into the dynamics of how the processor is made and can be moved about more easily. Um, Tense Torrent is going for the full stack solution. So they're going for hardware, compiler, and runtime. And the idea is that they give all three of those equal weighting priority. You'll see some companies that go compiler first, you'll see some companies that go um, hardware first, silicon first, but the idea behind Tense Torrent is that they do uh, they weight these all equally, so they can turn around to customers and say, "Look, we have the full solution here," and it does this through each of its 120 cores on the chip with uh, package management, uh, package compute. That's where the 106 cores are, and it even has five mini risk cores. This is for each of the 120 cores, so 600 risk cores total. That does all the little conditional operations that uh, these cores might need to do. So each core can run an independent program, essentially, and 120 independent programs. And this chip is designed to be a host and an add-in device. This current generation is called Grayskull, uh, is LPDDR4 for inference. The next gen will be on GDDR6 for training, again, with the crazy switch, like I mentioned. So what Jim has done is he's actually put out an official statement 
saying that Tens Torrent has the best architecture out there. Uh, that's quite an endorsement from somebody like Jim Keller, and it's a double endorsement if he actually goes to work for the company. Now, the CEO, uh, whose name is, I'm going to butcher, I'm sorry. So uh, the CEO, Lubisa Bajic, um, has confirmed Jim's appointment as president and CTO, stating that Tens Torrent was founded on the belief that the ongoing shift towards machine learning centric software necessitates a corresponding transformation in computational capabilities. There is nobody more capable of executing this vision than Jim Keller, a leader who is equally great at designing computers, cultures and organizations. I am thrilled to be working with Jim and beyond excited about the possibilities our partnership unlocks. I had a couple of words with the CEO. It sounds like Jim's going to be working more on uh, future products rather than current generation products because uh, the product's coming out in the market. Well, that's done. Um, the 2021 product is basically done. I'm not sure whether they're just at the end of chip design or whether they're currently doing early silicon or you know proper tape out for volume, um, but that's going to come later in the year. So it means Jim's more focused, I guess, on you know the 2022, 2023 products, see where this company is going. Now, this AI market has a lot of money. Like I said, um, Tens Torrent has been through several rounds of funding. We've got um, what could be described as perhaps uh, Tens Torrent's greatest uh, competitor is going to be GraphCore. GraphCore's got a lot of funding. They just went through a series of e-funding. Um, Tens Torrent's promotion of their core versus GraphCore's is that Graph Core, they say that GraphCore has to split its time between compute and memory transfer, whereas Tens Torrent doesn't. So it allows it to do it concurrently and asynchronously. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. I mean, we now have uh, benchmark organizations like ML Commons that runs MLPerf. Uh, GraphCore is committed to uh, producing MLPerf data later this year. I need to double check exactly where Tens Torrent is on that. But these companies, they go for, you know, holistic solution level and big customers. And like I said, there's a ton out there, so it's gonna be interesting to see which ones win. And the fact that uh, Tennis Torrent has Jim Keller uh, as CTO, has Jim Keller saying it's the best architecture out there, that's gonna pull in a lot of weight for the company. Um, so no doubt we'll hear more. I have specifically asked for an interview with Jim Keller because uh, I interviewed him as he joined Intel uh, a couple of years ago. And they said, let's, let, let's get him settled in first. Uh, perhaps let's wait until we have something more to talk about about next generation product or deployments of current gen. Then we'll let you interview him. Uh, so I can't wait for that to happen. That's going to be really exciting. But yeah, what do you think? Is this where you thought Jim would end up? Did you think Jim was going to really end up at AMD, Apple, Tesla, Nuvia? It's it's Jim clearly has where he wants to be, and he's he's made a ring endorsement. So fair play to him, fair play to Tens Torrent as well for actually hiring him. Um, yeah, comments down below. What do you think Keller should have done? Um, and interesting enough, I wonder what Keller's minimum specification is. I know he's a surfer dude. What's your minimum specification?